In this video, I will show you how to plot various square wave functions using GNU Octave or MATLAB. To support my channel, you know what to do. To plot the square wave function, I will use two built-in functions called square and plot. And as an example, I will work with five different square wave functions. Of the five example plots catch the basics, and you can manipulate the basics towards the what you need. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Before I jump into the plots, I just wanted to make sure we are on the same page for the couple of key terminologies that I use. The first one is the period. The built-in function square is designed based on the period of 2 pi. This means that the square function repeats every 2 pi. In this figure, you have two identical square wave functions are given between 0 and 4 pi, and the first wave function can be used as a building block, and it repeats every 2 pi. Next is a frequency or numbers of the square wave between 0 and 2 pi. In this plot, you have one square wave between 0 and 2 pi, and we have the frequency of 1. I use a variable f for the frequency. If you need to plot two square waves, you can use the frequency of 2, in other words, f equal to 2. Lastly, we need a duty cycle. The duty cycle is a ratio between two width of the square waves, simply a over b in the plot. Since this is a scaled number, it can be anywhere between 0 and 100%. Unless you define the duty cycle, the default value is a 50%. Now, I use the variable name duty for the duty cycle. If you have a smaller width of the a, your duty cycle is a smaller. In this figure, I showed an example plot for the square wave for the duty cycle of 20%. Question comes, how to plot the square wave function in GNU Octave or MATLAB? The key is to generate the vector for the square wave function. The default number is a 50%. If you use the custom duty cycle, it will override the default number. The first example plot is a square wave function between 0 and 4 pi. The frequency is 1 and duty cycle is 50%. In Octave Script Editor, I usually clear all the variables and close all figure windows before I run the new script. Now for the Octave user, you need to load the signal package to call the built-in function square. In order to do so, you need to type package load signal. Otherwise, Octave cannot recognize a square function. For MATLAB user, it is already loaded, so you can skip this line. Now I define the frequency, in this case, frequency of 1. Now I use f equal to 1. Now I need to define my lower bound t, so I use t underscore mean equal to 0. So I also define my upper bound t, t max equal to 4 pi. Next, I need to define the row vector for the time between the lower bound and upper bound by using the linear space. The row vector size is 1000. So you can use any number, but I just wanted to make sure we have big enough size to have smooth curve. Now I need to create ft by using the square, so I use frequency multiplied by t. So it will generate a row vector for ft. Now I use a figure function to fix my figure window size and position and so forth, but you can skip this line. I use a plot function, plot function require t vector and ft, I use a line width 5. So I also add the x label time t, y label y equal to ft, then I also increase my line width to 3 and font size 72 for the better figure. Now I customize x tick 
as 0 pi, 2 pi, and 3 pi, and 4 pi, same as tick labeled as 0 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, and 4 pi. Now I also control my axis between t mean, t max for the x axis, and minus 2 to 2 for y axis. Now I turn on my grid. So once you're done, I can run my script. Now you can see the scale wave function in the figure window. Next example plot is a frequency of 2. So I have a frequency of 2 with the equal spacing for duty cycle. So I have f equal to 2, duty cycle equal to 50. In order to plot this example plot, so I can simply change my frequency of 2 in the line number 3 and run it again. Now you can see the frequency of 2 square wave function. What about upside down square wave? Compared with the previous plot, I start with 1 between 0 and pi over 2, followed by minus 1 between pi over 2, pi. New example, start with minus 1 between 0 and pi over 2, followed by 1 between pi over 2 to pi. Key thing is that we can flip it by putting minus sign for the y-axis. I will show you in the octave screen what it means by that. So we don't really touch anything else. We can simply upside down by using minus ft. So we generate a original figures like this, but we can just upside down by putting minus sign and over the previous ft. So that you can run it again and you can see upside down scale wave function. What about different scale wave function for the different duty cycle? In this example, we wanted to plot duty cycle of 20%. To make it happen, what you can do, you can define another variable duty equal to 20. So you can simply add duty in the square function. Now you can rerun it. So you successfully finished the plotting. Lastly, I want to plot a square wave function starting with 1 between 0 and pi over 2, followed by 0 between pi over 2 to pi. The key thing is that you can also manipulate your y-axis as you have done for the upside down square wave function. So 0.5 multiplied by ft plus 1. I will show you what it means by that in octave screen. So actually, it needs a two steps. First step, so we can ship it up, ship the wave function up by one towards the positive y-axis by adding the one, and you can reduce the magnitude by half. I will keep my original ft. I can add a second curve by having another ft. So I use ft one for the second curve. So before I plot the final curve, I can show you what's going to happen when I add plus one. So since I create the ft1, I'm going to add another pair of vector to plot as a second curve, to plot the second curve. So I use t comma ft1, then I change the color to red. Line type is dotted line. So when I plot this, I keep my original curve and my red dotted curve is shifting up by positive one. Now, in order to bring this down towards 1, I can simply multiply by 0.5 and run it again. I can see new square wave function between 0 and 1. Thanks for watching this video until the end. And please subscribe my channel if you want to continue to watch tutorial videos in science, technology, engineering, and math. Please give thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please feel free to share your thoughts in comment section down below. See you next time.